Hey guys and welcome back to the Simple Kai Guide channel. Today we are taking a look at this Travlog portable tire inflator. I have been fascinated by these small smart wireless air compressors and I have tested some around $150, $100 and even $75. So let's see what we can get for about $40 after the coupon they have on right now on Amazon. So, as you can see here, this is a Travlog cordless portable tire inflator. It has preset pressures, 8000 milliamp battery. That's a pretty big battery for this size. As you can see, it's a small box right here. Auto shot off, so that's kind of what I come to expect from these. And I love that. That's what makes it smart. Digital display, that's what it's going to look like. All right. Here in the back, we have the capacity, the battery capacity, the operating temperature. Uh, charging time so it's going to be about four hours for it to fully four to five hours to, for it to fully charge but normally you wouldn't get it all the way down to zero before you charge it uh, max output pressure 150 psi that's great and the air tube is six inches here are the dimensions and a couple of other items that you might find interesting and of course it works in car motorcycle bicycle and some sports equipment all right let's open it up and see what it looks like All right, so we have the user manual, not that much to it, but it does tell you how to use it, how to properly charge it and everything else. But we'll go over that in just a couple of minutes. It shouldn't be too hard. What else do we get here? We have a carrying pouch, very nice with some accessories. So as far as the accessories, we got something for inflating like um, some inflatables, things like that. and or even for like a football or a soccer ball. Very nice. And of course we have a USB-C uh, type cable for charging. I'm gonna take off uh, that protective piece right there. All right, anything on the back. So it's kind of same information, nothing here. And we have um, the connector for the air hose. So let's plug that or let's screw that in. I do like that it has one of these uh, quick release uh, valve stem chocks, so it's easier to you know get into the harder spaces like on a motorcycle. You don't always have enough space to screw it on, but this should work just fine. All right, so let's turn it on. Now press and hold the power button, and it turns on. Let's quickly go over the buttons. It's very simple. The power button, if you press it once, it starts pumping. As simple as that up and down or plus and minus, you're gonna use that to adjust the pressure. At the moment we're at PSI. So we can set it to whatever we like basically, up to 150 PSI. And then if you press M, it's gonna, I guess we're gonna save that. If you press M, it's gonna switch between the memory ones. So like the presets basically, you can go between car, motorcycle and bicycle and some other stuff. And of course you can switch the units as well. So we're gonna go from PSI to bar to KPA or kilograms per square centimeter. I'm going to stick to PSI because that's what I understand. And if you need to uh, turn on that little light, you're just going to hold the U button for a few seconds and then it turns on. Hold it again and it turns off. All right, so that's about it for this one. Let's go down to the car, plug it in and see how long it takes to pump up a tire from uh, 20 PSI to about 36. Uh, on the previous one, it took about eight to, to nine minutes. So let's see how this one does. All right, so I hope you can see, but it's about, about 20 more or less. So I'm gonna plug this in. Okay, easy to plug in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it that well. I'll move the camera for you. It shows 18.7, pretty close. So let's start it and see how long it takes. All right, and it's done. So I had to switch it to 39 PSI since that's what I actually said on my uh, uh, on my door. Uh, I was thinking of my other car for a second there, but it took about seven minutes to get it inflated from about 18.6 uh, PSI to 39, so over 20 PSI in about seven minutes. 
which is actually not bad. You can watch my other videos and compare it to some of the other devices. Um, I have had one that uh, was able to inflate about the same amount in like five minutes, but it costs uh, over three times more. So that's something up to you to figure out to see if that's worth it to you or if you're happy with one of these devices in your you know, emergency bag in the trunk. I like it. I like it because it's small. As you can see, it's not very big at all and it has the little carrying pouch for it so it can easily be stored in your glove box compartment or in the trunk um, plug it into the USB-C of your car or just any USB in the car and it's gonna charge it while you're driving and then you'll have a nicely fully charged device every time you need it especially when the weather changes you can get all of your tires popped up to the correct um, to the correct pressure and make sure you're getting the best fuel economy with today's uh, you know fuel prices this is going to be saving you a couple of bucks here and there. So definitely cool. Uh, are there any negatives? Not much that I can think of. Um, I, I like it. It works. Uh, this did get pretty warm, but there is actually a warning here saying that, hey, this will get warm uh, after a, a long use. And you're not supposed to use it for more than 10 minutes at a time. So if you've used it for 10 minutes, let it rest for a couple of minutes, cool off, and then you can use it again. I also wanted to double check with this to make sure the pressure is correct and it is exactly oh, well now it's 38 and a half but it was 39 uh, and this is a 255 by 35 uh, 18 inch uh, tire so there's a lot of air to be put in uh, to this tire it's pretty wide but that's about it on this unit if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the like button leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one